What up, bitches? It's a misanthropic one, aka He Who Hungers, and I'm back up in this bitch for another rant. Now, I, I want to talk about this Negro you're looking at right in front of you, this image. Um, this is a dude named Daz Dillinger. He's a rapper from the group uh, The Dog Pound. And uh, <laughs> this dude, uh, he came into prominence in, I would say, like the early 90s, early to mid 90s. He was more well known. Um, I referenced this dude on one of my latest videos the Kanye critics uh, celebrity roast I was basically talking about all these these motherfuckers that got something to say about uh, Kanye West and his recent comments about uh, being a mental slave and this and that and free thinking I was basically pointing out how majority of these dudes are hypocritical okay um this guy Daz Dillinger he recently released a track called uh, True to the Game Part 2 and um for those that are hip-hop heads like myself y'all know that the original True to the Game was written by Ice Cube okay I forget what album it was on it was on one of his early seminal albums whether it was The Predator or uh fucking death certificate I, I forget which one it's on i haven't um picked up those albums in a while but they're classic albums check them out but um this dude basically made a sequel to it and um let me say this look <laughs> um first of all kanye was right it, it, you know I, and i keep having to say this because these emotional ass motherfuckers keep coming back and responding they look the fact that you would have any other response than listen that's that man's opinion is proof positive that you have this hive minded state especially as a black person you live you have this sheep mentality you know what i mean like everyone gotta fucking think the same i mean i could go into that but i've done videos on it uh, that Kanye is a hundred percent right on that. Okay, um, those that were following this whole saga uh, would know that Daz Dillinger. Um, <laughs> to, let's get away from the song for a minute. But Daz Dillinger put out an international crip alert um, <laughs> against Kanye West, saying that he Kanye West shouldn't come to California. Um, don't come to California, or essentially, or he'll be dealt with which is fucking stupid because you know you doing that and putting it out on social media could get your own black ass in trouble okay um that's that's just common fucking sense but again common sense ain't that common nowadays so he went and did that um just recently you know uh tm uh i was on tmz.com and they were saying that uh, the cops investigated it and they think it's, it's sort of like an empty threat, which is bullshit. The only reason that this is happening is because, you know, Kanye West openly supports Trump and, um, you know, they're, they're willing to let that go. And he, they can't, they, they, oh, yeah, it's, it's not a big deal. Had this been someone else, a conservative or anybody else that even hinted at some type of threat, dude, it, that dude would be fucking lynched. But, keep that in mind um but yeah um <laughs> back to this track i mean it just fucking listen i heard the um i heard the audio of it i'm not gonna watch the video um if you look at the this image this is what this image um this is an image from the video i saw a article saying that he created the video off this track and um <clears throat> He's he painted himself in fucking whiteface, you know, to essentially, you know, it's this ad hominem attack, you know, like I can't I can't, um, you know, debunk your logic. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to clown you. And I've talked about this multiple times on my channel, how, um, you know, Negroes will sit around. Well, not just just anybody. If they if they can't 
beat your argument they're just gonna clown you we're living in the state of idiocracy right now where you could make an argument and articulate yourself but as long as the other person clowns you or tries to shame you in their head they won the argument when <laughs> they didn't address anything and that's my problem with this track you know if this track kind of addressed what Kanye was saying uh, and, and showed him where he was wrong I would kind of agree with it I would kind of say okay I, I could deal with the you know it, it was a decent rebuttal but all this Negro did was uh, turn around and he took Ice Cube's lyrics and essentially just you know attributed a, a, the lyrics to Kanye West I'm like first of all that's the laziest shit uh, number two, this guy's been irrelevant for fucking well over a decade. I mean, li listen, I'm on the East Coast. I can't tell you, I can't point to you any man or anybody that uh, uh, that lives over here that says, yo, I'm, I'm checking for that new Daz Dillinger. No one's doing that shit. No one's saying that shit. And this is just a poor attempt at uh, trying to uh, gain relevancy again. It, it, it's just bad. The song itself wasn't good. Even if you take politics out of it like i said it was just lazy as shit you know how about use how about this daz use that um that fire that you have and make a fire album stop worrying about what another fucking man is saying stop worrying about an opinion that you don't agree with and see that's my other problem you know this whole all these assholes that had a problem with what kanye west was saying they could have easily this wouldn't have lasted 30 seconds if people just simply said well that's that man's opinion i don't have to agree with him but that's his opinion it would have been done but you got all these dudes that are in their fucking feelings and uh it's just it's just so fucking ridiculous to see you know i was talking with my little brother uh la i think last week or two weeks ago and he said the same thing when this came out he immediately when uh kanye west said what he said he immediately went to fucking twitter and um he went to Twitter, excuse me, <laughs> and he just looked at people's responses and he goes, God damn, people are so fucking emotional. Like, it, they really didn't listen to what this dude was trying to say, you know? And, um, you know, again, I, I don't want to beat it to death, but, you know, when you got people like this that come out and uh, do things like this, it's just fucking ridiculous. And it's like fucking, I would say, weeks later you're still on this shit dude you're beating a dead horse most people moved on especially since kanye west album came out and no i didn't listen to it yet but um you know people moved on beyond that man the push a t's album came out Nas's album's about to come out that's also produced by kanye west i mean it, listen get over yourself it's an opinion you don't have to like it not saying you gotta like it not saying you gotta agree with it you have to deal with it be a fucking man dude you're in your fucking 40s and you're still fucking gang banging dude like you should be ashamed of yourself and the other thing that kills me is i saw a meme that cracked me the fuck up um there was a meme that that um, was addressing Daz Dillinger, uh, you know, after he put out this international crip alert uh, for these uh, crips to go at Kanye West. Um, <laughs> it says, dude, you could go, you're putting out a crip alert to go at Kanye West, but George Zimmerman is still walking the streets. <laughs> Which is so fucking true. You're going at a guy who had an opinion. See, and is, this is so bad for the black community because this goes to show you how quick we are to attack each other off of dumb shit, off of scuffing each other's shoes, off of, nah, I don't like what he says, so I'm, I'm going to go put out a hit on it. Like, dude, grow the fuck up. You're fucking in your 40s, dude. Grow up. Make a decent album. Stop worrying about niggas uh, uh, saying uh, uh, saying things that you don't agree with. Guess what? You're, you're in a world with millions and millions and millions and millions of people guess what not everybody thinks the same all right so I, I'm, I'm sick of this shit no i'm not gonna be watching that video uh i'm not gonna give in to none of this bullshit that you know oh uh he's quote unquote white that's the dumbest diss in the in the world because a lot of you niggas that are rapping that are doing that shit guess what you're trying to be rich and quote unquote as white as kanye west 
all right so stop using that stupid shit it's the dumbest fucking thing there's no logic uh in that statement and i don't know how many fucking times i could tell you that shit but yeah i'm done um everybody else y'all know the deal leave your love leave your hate <sighs> most of all fucking subscribe and uh that's it peace bitches